In this video, I'm going to use SPSS to perform an independent samples t-test. Here on the left, we have two groups, group A and group B. Both of these groups have 10 scores in them. We want to use the independent samples t-test to find out if these two groups are different from each other. Here, our independent variable is group, either group A or group B, and the dependent variable is score, you know, whatever these scores are. That is the dependent variable. So let's go over to SPSS. Right now we're in data view, and we have no data entered into SPSS. Before we put in any data, we need to go to variable view and enter in our variables. Here we have our independent variable, which is group, and we have our dependent variable, which is score. Now the thing about group is you're either in group A or group B. That might be easier. Let's just actually rename these group 1 and group 2. I'll show you why. We're going to go over to values and click on this box. And we click on the three dotted lines, click on the ellipsis here, and we put in values of 1 have a label of 1, and values have 2 have a label of 2, and hit OK. What this means is that, well now we have our variables, we're going to go back to data view. If we put a 1 in the group box, it means this person is a member of group 1. If we put a 2, it means that they're a member of group 2. In this data set, this is an independent data set, so we actually have 20 different people being measured. So that means we're going to fill up 20 different rows in SPSS. So we have 10 people who are in group 1, and 10 people who are in group 2. There we go. So now we're going to put in the scores. We've got 98, oops, 101, 94, 96, 112, 89, 94, 99, 96, and 97. That's for group 1. Now for group 2, we got 120, 114, 117, 121, 130, 127, 119, 134, 123, and 125. You know, most of the time you'll actually be able to just copy that in, but I did it by hand just so you can see how I'm doing it and to make sure I don't make any mistakes. So now we've got our 10 people who are in group 1 and their scores, and we've got our 10 people who are in group 2 and their scores. So now I'm going to go up to Analyze. And let's go to, oops, let's go to Compare Means. And we're going to go to Independent Samples T-Test. Now here our test variable is score, that is our dependent variable, and our grouping variable is group. Now next to group we have a bunch of question marks. That's because SPSS is just a computer program. It's, it's kind of dumb. We need to tell it what groups are what. So group 1 we have labeled 1 and group 2 we have labeled 2. And we hit continue. Now SPSS will know, oh okay, I'm going to split those two up. Now we can go to options if we want a confidence interval. We'll leave this at 95%. And now we're good. We're going to hit OK to run our t-test. Let me make this a bit bigger. So here we're comparing group 1 and group 2. We've got 10 scores in each group. Group 1 has a mean of 97.6 and group 2 has a mean of 123. It also gives us our standard deviations and our standard error of the mean if you're interested. But we, what we want down here is the independent samples t-test. For now, we're just going to stick with the equal variances assumed model. So here it's given us our t. Our t is equal to negative 9.363, and we have 18 degrees of freedom. Our significance, our p-value, is 0 0.003. Actually, if you click on it here, it takes a second. Uh, where am I going? Oh, there we go. You can actually see that it's much, much smaller than that. It's not 0.00, it's like 0 0.00000243. It's never exactly zero, but that is our p-value. And because it's less than, in this case, 0 0.05, we're going to reject the null hypothesis, and we can say that group 1, group A, is different from group 2, group B. So now we've performed an independent samples t-test using SPSS.